is a tool to help you become king or queen of your own castle. Hello, Sharks. My name is Kevin Lane. And I'm Lori Lane from New Milford, Connecticut. We are seeking $350,000 for 10% equity in our company, Create a Castle. Everybody loves to vacation at the beach. I know that I could lay in the sun for hours with our daughter. Our son would stay in the water all day if we let him. And if you're anything like my husband here, you like to spend hours and hours and hours ignoring his family building the most elaborate sandcastles. But it's impossible to build a real sandcastle using the traditional fill and flip buckets. The wet sand sticks in the bucket. Even at its best, it just looks boring. boring. <laughs> That's why we invented Create a Castle, revolutionary split mold sand castle kits that allow you to build elaborate sand structures in no time at all. Just buckle it, pack it, unbuckle it, and, well, create a castle. <laughs> Our pro kit includes a 10 inch cylinder for the base, a corbel to add a new level of intricacy, a stackable six inch piece for additional height, a ridge battlement brick form to add to the towers, and a window cutter to etch out elegant windows. Then sit back, relax, and enjoy the admiration of everyone on the beach. So sharks, who wants to create an empire with us bringing families together one castle at a time with Create a Castle. I have six kids. I'm a, a mom and bonus mom to six right, kids, okay? That's awesome. Awesome. So, so we spend a lot of time on the beach, and I love this. Is there anything like this out there? Because I feel like I've seen something similar. Nothing like this. We're no. unique in the fact that we split, so the molds split in half, but they also are stackable in the right kind of sand. You can build that entire beaches. castle. Yeah. How long did that take? That took me under two hours. Wow. I see a patent. Do you want to tell us about that? Yes, so go ahead. We have... Yeah, we have 12 patents worldwide. 12? 12. Wow. 12. It is your patent, you believe that protects you against anybody who wants to start splitting their we doors have, open? We have broad coverage. It scales up and down. That's why we're, we're going down into the indoor line now as well. All right, guys, look. This is a very, very seasonal product. It works in the snow. Oh! oh. oh. Very oh. Very Thank you, Mr. So, yeah, so it does. It works year-round. We figured that out the first year we did it, yep. and you can stack like it's crazy. It's like Elsa's castle That's in it. the winter. Yeah. 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 That's really, really I was cute. about to say, who wants yeah. a castle in the winter, but yeah. Elsa. Elsa. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, guys, what are the price ranges? What's the least and what's the most? So we go the toolkit that we have there, the small box, that's $10, and then the pro kit retails for $50. What's your landed cost on this? Um, the little one is landed at $2. The pro kit, that costs us $9.45. So what did you sell last year? You're imputing a value of a $3.5 yeah, so million on this Last kit. year we did $600,000. And then this year we are doing three million. Three Whoa. million? Wait a minute. Whoa! How did that just happen? Are you happen? kidding me? What? We, we, are we landed Costco Canada as Sam's well as Sam's Club. Club. On the six hundred thousand in sales last year, what did you make on that? We were actually negative one hundred thousand. We lost money last year. Why? And that was really due to the shipping costs were like 5X what we had budgeted. Because of COVID. Yep. Yeah, like okay. we used to get a container in for, you know, four to 6,000 and, you know, a couple of our containers last year were 25,000. Yeah. 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 And, right. the and the three million in sales, including the Costco and Sam's Club ordered, what do you think you'll make on that? This year we're gonna make about 300,000. What is your margin to Costco then? The margin we made about um, 27 to 32% margin. So that's so part of your challenge, less, yes. yeah. Okay, what are you looking for help for? Because right now, it looks like you are scaling really well. I understand you need to reduce costs, but what else are you looking for? I think mostly we need, you know, with the, the capital that we're asking for to invest into more product, and we just need expertise. We've made so many mistakes. And we're, we're expanding into a whole, we want to open up a whole licensing version. A what? A licensing version. Did you so, say Damon? Oh. You're looking for $350,000. I'm going to assume that's primarily for inventory. And yeah. you're trying to figure out the Costco order translating into a U.S. Costco order, correct? Because a lot of people test Are up in sure? Canada. Yeah, Are you not sure that you can make money off of that order? Yeah, not necessarily. I mean, we've learned a lot getting into the big Are box Are you going to make money on the Costco uh, order? Because they're going to ask you for some co-op advertising as well? Right. For that and markdowns yeah, and everything. For, yeah, yeah, we, you know, we know we have and the percentage And they have the right to return the last 15% of it? Yes. 
So, okay, so, so you had, all, sounds like you've had returns and markdowns. Yes, yep. yes, we've and been that's, experiencing that. that's impacted that. your 27% mm -hmm. margins even worse. Yes. Yeah, guys, I think there's too much of an emphasis on sales rather than profits. Every entrepreneur gets really hyped about doing business with big box retailers, mm -hmm. yep. but the reality is it's just gonna take more and more cash like you found out. And so, you know, chasing margin and profits is good. Chasing sales, in my mind, particularly in this, these uncertain days, is bad. And so, for those reasons, I'm out. Okay. Guys, look, guys, let me tell you where I'm at. I'm looking at the business model strictly as, strictly as an investment. Anytime it's 350000 that's serious capital. I'm not even going to beat you up in the $3.5 million valuation, although I should. It's in my DNA to do that, but I'm going to hold back because I'm under anger management this year. So, <laughs> at the end of the day, uh, it's not investable yet because the business model isn't nailed down. My sense is to dump the low end completely, raise the prices 30%, sell only on your own website direct, otherwise you're never gonna make any money. I'm out. Okay, thank you. Listen, thank you. I, I don't agree with what he just said. Your price point I think is excellent and I have always found I like to make products for the masses. I like to make things where everybody can afford and enjoy it. But I think for me, it's not something that I want to invest in. I don't invest in everything that I like. You're doing everything right, and I wish you good luck, but I'm out. I absolutely love this product. Thank you. It brings me joy, and I love your price point, and I actually totally disagree with Kevin. I think you want a balance of wholesale and retail. Now, coming from a retailer myself who sells an omni-channel, I sell wholesale, I sell direct-to-consumer online, and I have my own retail stores. I think you can do it very thoughtfully. Now, some of the discount retailers, I will agree with Kevin, can absolutely kill you. So being thoughtful about where you go, but I think you've got a home run. I'm going to give you an offer. I'm gonna give you 350,000, but I don't think your valuation's 3.5 million. You lost $100,000 last year. So I don't see the 3.5, but I do see that there's going to be great potential and opportunity. I'd like to give you 350,000 for 20%. And I think I can help you with that omni-channel, which I do think is gonna help you build the business the way you wanna build it. Okay. Awesome. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I like this, uh, but Mark has a valid point. You know, this is going to be your personal decision, right? Do you uh, raise the price, stay online, and, you know, net more? Or do you want to go big? Do you bring in a shark and you go big? But if you go big, it's a huge cash suck. Massive. So I'm only interested in this for the licensing aspect. That's a personal decision, but I will give you the $350,000 for 25%, and licensing is the key. You know, awesome. look, you, I guys. disagree with Damon. I don't think this is just a licensing play, and I don't see why you guys can't be the next big toy manufacturer. So that's what I want to do. I want you to dream big, and I think I can help you get By there. By the way, when I say dream big, I'm talking about dreaming big. So. What do you want to do? you guys ever work together with the licensing? I would love to work with her, but in this area, I'm the most successful licensing guy up here. That's my area. And I'm a brand builder. I built my own brand, right, from the ground up out of my extra bedroom. So I'm um, going to interpret so that for you. They you said go. no, they don't want to work together. What do you want to do? You can counter. You want to counter? Yeah. Would you be interested at percent I'd like to stay at 20. Okay. I'm gonna let you make the call. She makes a decision. <laughs> I respect both of you guys, well, all of you guys anyways. Absolutely. But I think we're gonna go with Kendra at the twenty. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's make some
very cute. I love it, and I'm gonna use it with my kids. That, that's a massively. Don't do it. That's, oh. a, no, that's a bad deal. Oh. 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 Just, you know, I, I, I mean, I just, I just think, I think they're a bad judge of character. <sighs> I'm gonna go try to build it back up. Oh. Go ahead, we'll wait. Next into the tank is a couple hoping to wrap up a deal for their low-calorie superfood. Hi, Sharks. My name is Zin Wang. And my name is Melissa Kalala Wang, and we're from New York, seeking $300,000 for 3% equity of our company. Sharks, let's talk about something important. Tacos. Everyone loves tacos, but my doctor say I can't eat tacos every day. <laughs> That's because of the calorie-laden tortilla. And switching to lettuce wraps? Uh, no. They break apart whenever you pick them up, and they just don't taste great. If only there was something that combined ah. the nutritional benefit of a lettuce wrap and the functionality of a traditional tortilla. Well, now there is. Say hello to Hickory Wraps! A crisp and refreshing tortilla alternative made from thin slices of fresh jicama. Hicka what? Hicka, yeah! <laughs> oh. Hey, it's Hicka Man, a member of the League of Superfoods. Hickam is our hero ingredient because it truly is a superfood. It's super low calorie, <laughs> super low carb, <laughs> super high fiber, <laughs> and one of its superpowers is improving gut health. <laughs> it's a yeah! <laughs> Compared to a tortilla which contains 100 calories and 15 carbs, our wraps are only 8 calories and 1 net carb per wrap. Use them to skinny any taco. Plus, they're perfectly round and pliable, and their neutral taste pairs well with any recipe. So whether you're gluten-free, paleo, keto, whole 30, or just looking for a healthier way to make every day Taco Tuesday. You can say, see ya, tortilla. Lettuce, do better with <laughs> Hicka Wraps. Hicka, yeah. Come on, sharks, and join the Hicka Mania. Hicka what? Hicka yeah. what? So we've got, you guys have got samples of our jicama tacos. We've got samples of our jicama sticks with cilantro lime seasoning and our jica de gallo. The but jica de gallo is our pico de gallo with jicama in it. Can I, can I get one without the stuff in it? I just want to taste the actual tortilla. Have you never had jicama before? It's like a watery, I have not very had it pleasant before. tasting, slightly sweet root. I actually have jicama taco recipes in my last cookbook. Oh, you do? How much do you sell it for? What does it cost to make? So. We make it for $1.85, we sell it to retail for $2.99, and it's on shelf for $4.99. And how many do I get in that package? So you have about 15 wraps per package. Each wrap is actually about 30 cents. You're gonna pay 28 cents for a regular tortilla like this, and a grain-free tortilla like a cassava or an almond flour tortilla, you're paying over a dollar a lot of times for that kind of a tortilla. So it's very reasonably priced. I see as a trend in the wellness world, grain-free is becoming a huge thing. First it was gluten-free, and now it's like full-on grain-free. So people are not even having rice or quinoa. They're, they're really moving into this category. So I understand why it's getting traction for sure. Hey, are you making any money? Do you have any profits? So we started the company in 2015, and we launched with a different product. It was a jicama chip, and that jicama chip, we got to $500,000 in sales. The issue was we were competing in the salty snacks category, and we were, we were competing with large giants, and we were losing so much money. We got to the point where we only had $300 in our bank account oh, and $70,000 of credit card debt. We literally Airbnb'd our house just to survive. Oh my God. We sold our car, we sold everything. So we pivoted in 2019 from our jicama chips to fresh cut jicama. So in 2019, just one year sales, one million dollars. Wow. 2020, four million dollars. 2021, five million dollars. This year, we're doing six million dollars. Wow. Okay. This year, in terms of profits, about four hundred thousand. About the same as last year. Our profits are a little down this year because we've been putting um, a lot of our money and resources into actually building our own self-manufacturing capacity. Where are you manufacturing? The Hickama products are processed and sourced in Mexico. Mexico is actually the only country that grows jicama commercially, so we like to put our manufacturing very close to the source. And how long does it stay fresh? I mean, they, they package it in Mexico and ship it? And yeah, then... so our shelf life is 19 days, which is actually two to three times what normal uh, fresh cut processors will get on jicama because we really optimize the packaging to extend that shelf life. What national retailers do you in or grocers? Some of the retailers that we're in are Whole Foods, Sprouts, and we actually have a big push into food service this year with Cisco, we're actually being pushed into all of their distribution centers. So that's a great thing for a food service. How many stores are you in? We're so, in about 700 doors. And that leads to 6 million in sales? They're very popular. Yes. 
Can I ask you a question? 300,000 for 3%, I think that imputes a 10 million valuation. Mm -hmm. You're gonna make $400,000. You're asking for a 25 multiple. The stock market currently, the entire S&P, a trillion dollar market capitalization, trades at 17 and a half. Who is going to pay you 25X for this? Like, I mean, let's be realistic. Well, we did come in here asking for two times our sales. So actually this year we're gonna do six million, next year we're gonna do nine yeah, million. But at the end of the day, it's what you make and you're making thin margins in a food category. No one is gonna do this deal at 3%. Not here, not anywhere. Well, we'd love to hear some offers from you guys. If you want to increase the percentage, we're more than, ha how, we're I'll more than happy I'll start with an offer. Sure. All right. I'll give you $300,000 for 10%, but I'd like a pro rata share of what you earn from a business. Okay. So therefore, if you're taking out $90, you're handing me $10. Okay. I'll save you some time. Look, I'm, the jicama's good because I'm starving. I'm not a huge <laughs> jicama fan. <laughs> so for those reasons, I'm out. Yeah, thank Got you so it. much, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Yeah, I appreciate that. I'm gonna follow Mark on this one. I, I'm sorry. I love you, Hickama man. You're adorable. <laughs> <laughs> I love Hickama. The product is fantastic, but for me, I make this myself at home, so. You buy the whole Hickama, you peel it, right. you use it. So for that reason, I'm out. I like Hickama, I like what you're doing. I believe that you are completely in the right space at the right time, doing the right thing. I think it's a great business for you. I don't think it's the right business for me. I wish you good luck, but I'm not. Okay, thank you, Lori. You're killing Hickama Man over here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you have an offer from Barbara. What do you think of it? So in terms of the uh, percentage, um, are you willing to do uh, the 300,000 for, um, Five percent. Five percent? No, I wouldn't. I would have to stay with the ten percent. I'll do it for I mean... nine percent just to make it interesting for Barbara. Okay. And then you get Chef Wonderful, just squeezing her ikama a little bit. <laughs> okay. And pro rata deal for Kevin as well. Oh, absolutely. Otherwise, you never get your capital back. Are you guys willing to do seven uh, percent? Definitely not. Not, no. not for me, no. I pointed out what you've done. You value your business at an extraordinary multiple. I'm a multiple guy. I'm a financial services guy. I do a lot of private equity deals. You would not get that deal in the world today. Other than the money, what is it you're looking for in a shark partner? As we mentioned before, we have the manufacturing set up, but we need help in sales and marketing. Look, I can open up the doors at grocery because I have so many other products in there. He's honestly all well, the she, She's talking her book. I know what I do well. I do sales and marketing. That's how I became rich in the first place. I know it better than anyone else. I can certainly deliver the same social marketing as Mr. Wonderful, who thinks he's much more wonderful than he actually is. Okay? Oh. Got it. Oh! Because he's an overstater. I'm an overstater. You want the truth? Okay. The only reason she's here is I bought her a new broom this year. <laughs> and I'm going to tell him where to shove that broom any minute. Uh. You guys have to make a decision. you got two offers. Barbara, would you consider $300,000 for 6% and then 2% in advisory shares? Well, how about one more percent in advisory shares? 3% in advisory shares. Total of 9%. Yes, I would actually, just to beat him out. What would you guys like to do? So, Barbara, you've got a deal. Thank you very much. Congrats, guys. That's smart, really smart move. Congrats, Barb. Thank you very much. You're Thank terrific you. together, by the way. Thank you. Get rid of this pose, I love it. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> with Barbara. I can't believe this. this is insane. I mean, we've been watching Shark Tank forever now, so dream of my lifetime. First into the tank is an adorable way to learn a new skill. Hey, Sharks. We're Justine. And Adrian. The wife and husband team behind the Woobles. Today, we're seeking a $250,000 investment in exchange for 5% equity in our company. <laughs> wow. Sharks, we're here to get you hooked. On crochet. <laughs> our company is the Woobles. We make fun, simple kits that teach you how to crochet. But instead of a boring pot holder, you'll learn how to make adorable characters like Pierre the Penguin and Felix the Fox. 
Fred the Dino, and Sebastian the Lion. Each kit comes with step-by-step -step videos that teach complete beginners how to crochet. Our secret? We're not just a crochet company. We see ourselves as an education company, too. We've seen that something magical happens when people learn a new skill. It's about confidence. So, Sharks, who's ready to wooble with us? <laughs> <laughs> Super cute. Well, thank thank you. you. Super cute. What you have in front of you is both the kit and an example of the wooble that you would make with this kit. And if you open up the pouch, then you'll see our easy peasy yarn. And then most importantly, there's a card inside of the pouch that has a link and a QR code that brings you to our website tutorial our customers will follow to learn how to make that wooble. What is the uh, age start? For this. So most people will look at our product and think that it's for kids, but most of our customers are actually adults buying it for themselves. And what do you sell these for and what do they cost you to make? Landed, they're $3. We wholesale for $15 and we retail for $30. Wow. How do you sell them? Over 90% of our sales are direct to consumer straight from our website. So wow. what made you crochet in the first place? Before I started the Woobles, I used to lead user experience for Google Classroom. And I spent the bulk of oh, my really? career as a UX designer working on education products. And I loved my job. I was great at it. I was so great that they made me a manager. And it turns out I sucked at being a manager. <laughs> and so to take my mind off of work, I started dabbling in all these other hobbies. And crochet was one of those things. And learning to crochet reminded me that I still have it in me to learn something new, that I could try to become a better manager. And so that experience of really building back my confidence through crochet mm -hmm. is why we started this. I want to share that experience. Are you still at Google? People. Oh, no, no, no. This is a 100% full-time. Is it full-time for both of you? <laughs> yes. Yeah. And, and what's your background? From a really young age, I've been taught that success means getting good grades, going to a good school, and getting a really high-paying job. And that's exactly what I did. So I became one of the youngest directors on Wall Street. I traded billions of dollars in equities. Wow. But I wasn't any happier at the end of it than when I started. And what I began to realize was that I had spent all that time working towards someone else's definition of success. And so I left it all behind to go and try and figure out what my own definition of success is. I knew from a really young age that I really liked helping people. And then when we started thinking about crochet kits, What's really neat about it is that it is that confidence boost. Sometimes as we get older, you kind of stop learning new things. You start saying things like, you know, I'm too old to learn that. And so what brings me joy with these kits is that they're a little confidence boost to remind you that you can always learn something mm. new. So exactly two years ago, we started this business. We took $200, we bought some yarn, and we bought a domain name. And since then, we've done $5.3 million. Wow. What? Good for you. What? That's incredible. What are you yeah, doing? Yeah, so year to date, we've done 3.1 million. And if we assume that we've just stopped growing from this point on out, we'll do $7 million this year. You're okay, you're direct to consumer, which means you're doing a lot of online advertising. So tell us what your cost to acquire these revenues are, yep. what your gross margins are, and what your net margins are. Yeah, so we spend about 20% of our revenue on advertising. Okay, that's not it, bad. It costs us a blended CAC of $16. The average order value is around $57. Okay, wow. Do they so order one a kit or more than one kit? So that's about two kits. Then you're making a lot of money. So 86% gross margin, 32% uh, net margin lifetime, and 38% year to date. Great margins. So why do you need 250? I mean, you're killing it. We're here for three reasons. We're here for licensing, wholesale, and mentorship. Uh, when it comes to licensing, when a customer finishes the kit, the first thing they think is, I need to get another kit. And then they start asking us, where's Baby Yoda? Do you have any Disney characters? Where are the Marvel characters at? Guys, how did you arrive at your evaluation that you presented? We know our valuation's very low. Um, it's low? low because it's yeah. very low because we are here to make a deal. Um, we can learn so much from this group of people in this room. And we, the way we see it, we have two huge opportunities ahead of us. We haven't even begun to talk about wholesale, but licensing and wholesale, we think can drive this brand to the next level. Mm. You wanna and go to retail? We wanna go to retail. No, Why, when you're killing Because they have enough margin, yeah. We, we've, we've, we've done a test order. So now we get a little more about what, what the mission really is. Is the basis or the mechanism for that learning, in your vision, always gonna be crochet? Meaning, is the next product that you have coming a non-crochet or some other form? Yes, the, the, the key to our business is the learn to part. What we apply it to can change, but right now we are 100% focused on crochet. crochet. So for the foreseeable future, it's crochet kits. Exactly, yep. I like the steel, okay? Because it has something I love called 
cash flow. I what love does cash it have? flow. And so, I see it this way. I think I can reduce your costs of acquiring customers by around eight to 10%. Number two, I can definitely help you with licensing. Been there, done that with lots and lots of brands. I also think I can help you with some other interesting ideas in the fashion world with this stuff, okay? The fashion world? So this I can't make, wait to hear. This offer. is a far Listen, stretch. I'll make you, you want to hear the offer or not? <laughs> we would love to. I'll give you the 250000 for 10% equity. Coming from you, Mr. Wonderful, I expected to hear the words you royalty. Know why? <laughs> you know why? Shocking. You have cash flow. Would it be okay if we just heard the, if any of the other sharks are interested as I well? I would, definitely. I'll give you 300000 for the same 10%. Thank you. I love this. I'm going to make you an offer. I'm going to go 300000 for 10%. I, I understand all of this. I mean, I've been in this market so much, and I know how to get all the things you talked about, from the licensing to the retail stores. I think you should be everywhere and fast because you are something that could really take off. Exactly. That's our mission. We want to spread the joy and confidence of learning something new. I'm going to give you 350000 for 10%. No! Oh. 300000 for 8%. Okay. 8%. This mentoring is going to be worth it. Guys, you, you understand all the offers, right? You got to make a decision. Hold it a second. Just hold it a second. All sharks are still in. And there's a bidding war between Barbara, Kevin, and Lori for Adrian and Justine's highly profitable crochet kit business, the Woobles. I'm going to give you the 350 for 5%. That's how much I believe in your business. You are sitting on a rocket, but you have to let me know right away because I'm being a fool here, bidding against myself. Would you consider adding another shark to your offer? I'll do it with Mark. Come on, Mark, come here with me. Yeah. I was 300 for eight. You don't need, I can do this all alone. We've read your book and we know, we've seen what you've been able to do. I think that if you would team up with another shark, what was the amount you gave us? 350. The 350 for six percent. Robert, are you going to do anything here? Well, I'm trying to get a word in here. <laughs> I mean, it's hard. I'm just saying, how can I get a piece of this? Make you an want offer. Robert in it? Make an offer. Yes. Oh. I'd love to be involved. So we're going to give you 450 for six percent. The oh, two of us together. Nasty move. Yeah. Two of us together. Guys, you you understand all the offers, right? You got to make a decision. Can we take a moment? Yes. You can. Sure. You yes. can. Okay, so each shark offers a lot of different value in different areas. And where we think in the short term that we can really get the most help is with Mark and Lori. I and feel it's like Barbara, but I want to let you know that like you mean so much to me. But but for the company, I oh, think. Oh, sweet. Lori, do you want to work you. together? Wait, you're gonna abandon yes, me like that? It's over. Oh. That's what they want to do. Four hundred fifty thousand, six percent. You guys got a deal. deal. Oh, deal. I've had it now. Deal. Yes. Wow. Deal. We love you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh my God, you guys, you guys are great. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God, he threw me under the bus. You guys are as sharky as we are. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're very sharky. Good job, you guys. Are we skipping? Sure. Yeah. You <laughs> know. Mark and Lori were our target sharks. We did not prepare for that scenario at all. <laughs> and we're just glad it worked out. It was definitely a risky move to try to break up Barbara and Mark and get Lori in there instead. And we're glad that it worked out. Mark, I brought you into the deal. You didn't even want the deal. I was pushing you for the deal. You were my partner. I never for a moment thought you would throw me under the bus and go with Lori. So I really feel like the scorned woman. Robert knew. Barbara, that's the difference. <laughs> I knew Laurie would tell me under the bus. <laughs>